Hi, I'm Kathy, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on the Scientific Talking Calculator, which is available on the Apple App Store for the iPad, the iPhone, and the iPod Touch. This is what the Talking Scientific Calculator looks like. Here are your numbers, your arithmetic operators, your more advanced operators. Here are the mode switches and your volume slider, the link to your information panel and your numeric display. This is how the buttons will automatically position themselves when you have your calculator rotated into landscape. This is what your calculator will look like on the smaller screen of the iPod or iPhone. As you can see, it is still in large easy to read buttons, which you can access more of by sliding through six panels of more advanced operators. When your calculator is in talk mode, it will pronounce the names of the buttons that you click on. 7, 8, 9, multiply, 4, 5, 6, and the answers. Equals 359,784. I didn't quite catch how to pronounce that. Let's hear it again. Three hundred and fifty nine thousand seven hundred and eighty four. This is how to perform a calculation using voiceover. We're going to perform the sum of one plus two while having the screen dimmed so that we cannot use sight. Screen curtain on. Two. One. One. Four. Seven. Plus. Plus. Four. Two. Two. Th equals. Equals three. Mark memory cute right volume of this numeric display. Three. Screen curtain off. When your calculator is in silent mode, it will replace the sound of voice with keyboard clicks when you press on buttons. For low vision users, there is an option of putting your calculator into high contrast, which will put your buttons into high contrast. This calculator has two entry modes, standard and formula. When your calculator is in standard mode, it will automatically perform your calculations as you press the operators. This is useful for adding up a lot of numbers together. If you put your calculator into formula mode formula. and you enter a mathematical expression 1 plus 2 plus 3 it will not calculate it until you press the equals button equals 6 Also, when your calculator is in formula mode if you enter a mathematical expression and press the equals button, it will automatically apply the appropriate operator precedence rules, also known as BODMAS or PEMDAS. Equals 5.46410016. You can switch between trigonometric modes, decimal and hexadecimal. Hexadecimal. B E E F. Yummy, yummy. If you wish to use the fractions feature, you must have your calculator in standard mode. Let's begin by putting in a decimal. 4.5 equals 4.5. Now if we wish, we can turn into a fraction by hitting the fraction button. 2 fraction, 4 and 1 over 2. Or back into a decimal by pressing the decimal button. 
to decimal 4.5. But I think we'll prefer it as a fraction. 2 fraction 4 and 1 over 2. Notice how this is a mixed fraction. If I wanted to turn it into a simple fraction, I'll hit the BC button. Improper fraction 9 over 2. Or back into a mixed fraction by hitting the ABC button. Mixed fraction 4 and 1 over 2. We can also enter fractions directly. We do this by clicking on the ABC or BC button. Numerator. It's asking me to enter a numerator. Let's make our numerator 8. 8. And our denominator, denominator. 24. 2. 4. Equals 8 over 24. Now let's reduce this fraction by clicking on the Reduce Fraction button. Reduce 1 over 3. We can use our fractions with any of the other operators. Let's find out what the square of this fraction is. Squared 1 over 9. This is our information panel. Here we can choose between international number formats. Also we can choose between built a built-in voice and one to four custom voices. We can look at video tutorials and record new numbers and operators for your custom voice. You can also find instructions and help here. This is the recording studio. Here is a script that you will need to record. For this video we are going to only record three numbers one, two and three. Start by clicking on the number that you will be wanting to record. Up here, it shows you what you will need to say. Once you've tapped on the orange button and this progress bar starts to progress, say your number. 1. Let's move on to the next number. 2. 3. This is the recording studio for your operators. For this video we are only going to record plus and equals. We do it just like we did before. Plus. Equals. Now we have finished recording. Now let's try performing a sum with our newly recorded custom voice. 1 plus 2 Because I am in formula mode, I can click on the numeric display to see what I have written. 1 plus 2 And if I press equals, equals 3 We get the answer to our sum. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. This is me, Kathy, signing off.